Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Aesthetic Gamers, and welcome. So today we're taking a look at the Centurion AA Launcher. Now this is an absolutely beautiful piece of engineering. It's simplistic, functional, and extremely useful. Now the first thing I want to draw the attention to of this design is its suspension. The suspension has been built customly for this vehicle, and that means it can travel over various terrain very easily. The traditional suspension tends to break where this will traverse independently, and it looks absolutely absolutely beautiful while doing so and it's got front and back and you're probably wondering why is it color coded now the yellow bars can be broken and the vehicle can still function but the red if the red is broken it's going to be a significant damage to the vehicle and you'll have to stop and repair it so i really like that idea quite nice and as we move up to the cockpit here we actually have the turret that controls the battery on the back as well as three cockpits you can control multiple features from this he's added a basic sort of camo scheme and it looks like it's based on the u.s army sort of hemet truck design that i really like we've got a large coat of Dana on the back as well as a hydrogen tank very nice indeed as well as a variety of different sensors and the reactor is tucked away in the back of the cab there just a really nice design it looks really much like a truck or a typical aa launcher now the cool thing about this is once you reach your launch site you can activate your menu and start activating the weapon systems and first off you activate the pistons that deploy these stable landing positions and it lifts it up off the ground just ever so slightly so it won't rock as much as it's fired that's absolutely perfect and now the second thing we need to do is activate the turret on top and we need to run the program so we're going to skip through to the second menu and we'll actually activate number five on the block and we'll disable number nine and the missile launcher should start to gain its bearings and it's having a look over there but we need to fire up the system so it locks on with the turret and enable the rocket turret as well so what we need to bear in mind when we're using this system is the rocket at the rear is slave to this turret so we actually have to lead the target and that is perfect for when you're engaging aa but at the same time when you're engaging a static target like so what you need to do is lead it a little bit further in front press t disable that and now if we hit a our rocket battery should go straight towards that target and just look how devastating that can be and it's got a range of 1500 meters and it is, it's absolutely devastating. I'd love to just hit targets down there. The only problem is the rockets don't have any sort of drop to them. So it means that they're going to be going straight line towards the target until they disappear. So we've got two fast movers inbound on the target location where we were before. The AA system is going to have to repair for this one fast. We'll have to get them rockets spinning around, make sure everything is online, or else we'll probably miss our opportunity. Yeah, they're coming in low. They might be with a possible strike on this position. Okay, we've not got a lock on the position. Let's make sure our GPS is on. No, nothing's happening. We've not got that auto-aim. Oh, yeah, there we go. We've got auto-aim activated. Okay, it's tracking. They've gone above us. We're not going to be able to target that. Let's hit 8 to see if we can get the rocket battery up. Okay, that's good. We're getting impacts behind them. Impacts in front. Oh, that's good. we got the back one disabled, hitting the second one. Very beautiful. Let's have a quick check on the damage of them jets that we actually did. I don't think we did too much damage to the second one, but I believe the first one did take a few hits. Okay, that jet made it past... That one is smoking, severely damaged engines at the back. Really cool. Look at that. <laughs> I just love a good AA system or even a mobile launcher. I hope one day in the future that they'll actually make the rockets so they actually arc over distance in planets. I think that'll make it really interesting as well. Very nice. So for this final test, before we wrap it up, I just wanted to see this machine actually engage some targets that were quite low altitude coming over fast just to see how they would deal with it. Okay, it looks like the rockets are engaging. That one took a right dampening. Okay, second rocket battery's up. The second larger missile launcher struggles to engage sometimes. Oh, I didn't struggle to engage that one. That jet got a proper good hit. Lovely. Let's actually zoom in and see what we got on the damage to these jets. Second jet, once again, looked like it made it out pretty well. We've lost one or two engines. Front jet, we've got side on fire. The whole back of that front jet is absolutely wrecked. Look at that. That's, that's crazy. I, mean, I guess in reality that jet would be going down, but since space engineers' physics are kind of applying... It's managing to stay afloat. Now, the one thing that will catch a lot of people off guard about this truck and its off-road capabilities is that it's not a WASD design. It actually uses the number keys to turn the wheels independently, so I can turn them left and right and back again if I want to. So I can actually move down here. I wanted to try out some more difficult terrain. And the good thing about rotors on wheels is that it means it will maintain the same speed. So when I'm coming down this hill, it'll hold that speed together rather than go too fast and actually completely wreck the truck itself. I like that. I just really want to see some more rough terrain, but nothing too severe. So we can see the suspension going up and down. Let's actually bring it over a bit to the right and then a bit to the left if we can. 
Okay, a bit to the left, and bring it over to the right, and we'll try this larger sideways mound as it's picking up the suspension that's traveling up there at the front on the side. Look at that! That's like something you'd see from truck trials. Let me just straighten this out a little bit so we can actually gain some grip and go in up and over here. Lovely. Turn that wheel in. Really nice. I think we've got a little bit stuck here. It's because I've turned the wheels out. Maybe it's because I've not put enough speed under the wheels as well. I'll give it a bit more speed and it'll get a bit more grip. There we go. Beautiful. Then I can just rotate these over to the side. And it can come over to terrain. Just a really nice suspension design. It's something I'm definitely going to have to use in future developments myself. Just the way it travels over the terrain is absolutely lovely. The only drawback is it's not using that WSD system. So, just another really cool little invention that you can have a play around with in your world. Definitely check out the description for a link towards this design. It absolutely pulverizes jets when they come in close, and the manual control as well is just super fun to use. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.